everybody welcome to my channel today I'm going to be doing a monthly favorites video for the month of April let's get started my first favorites is an old one but a good one it is Revlon's Just Bitten Kissables Balm Stain and this one is in the color Honey. I'm wearing it on my lips today. They're very easy to apply. They last all day long and since it's a stain it lasts even longer once it wears off and it's even after you remove your makeup you still have some stain on your lips. So these ones are nice for the summer because they're easy to apply. They're smooth and they're not such a matte finish. And in the summer I do like more of a gloss instead of a matte finish. I think it looks nice and youthful. Another one that is an old favorite, again, I have a lot of these today, is a True Match blush. As you can tell, I've used a ton of it. And this is in the color Innocent Flush. This is a gorgeous coral. And how it leaves your cheeks is such a nice satin, just flush of color. On those days where you just want to wear a light shade of foundation or a BB cream, this is perfect just to throw on over that because it gives you a nice sheen of color. Here it is on the back of my hand, swatched for you. As you can see, it doesn't pick up a lot, but on the cheeks, it's very buildable, and it does have more of a, like a satin finish, so it gives you some glow to your skin, so it's perfect for summer. The next one is eyeshadows. This is from Tarte, and this is their limited edition color collection and purse collection. I'm not sure how these came because my mom gave them to me. I don't like the packaging. I don't like this mesh weird feeling but what's inside is gorgeous you have six shades here this one has a blush there's three that come all together and the one has a bronzer and one has a highlighter and you've seen the other highlighter uh use that one all the time i'm actually wearing that on my cheeks today but it's a pretty blush i don't go for this blush too much because it's kind of washes me out i feel like i'd need more color for it but it is a gorgeous shade but i've been loving these eyeshadows and it has a nice matte brown to work with that we don't need to pull from any of of your other eyeshadows it's a good just throw in your bag if you're going on a weekend trip or anything like that but they're easy to work with they're very pigmented swatch some for you here and there they are for you so as you can see very pigmented they are a uh, little chalky so you need to watch out for fallout but they're easy to use and they're easy to blend out so these ones are gorgeous my next one is again in eyeshadow palette. I'm sure lots of you have seen this all around YouTube. It is Too Faced All Mode Eyes Palette. I do have a tutorial using this eyeshadow palette. I am wearing some of it on my eyes today. And you have nine eyeshadows. So you have your three main ones here and then your six smaller ones here. And it's like the regular Too Faced packaging where you have your day look that you could use with these three shades, your classic look for this middle row, and your fashion look for these row. All the eyeshadows in here are very pigmented, easy to work with. Um, I don't have any complaints about any of the eyeshadows. I just wish that in this palette they had a matte shade to work with. All of them are shimmer. All of them are gorgeous. This one here for day, um, Saint Tropez, kind of comes off a little matte, but it does have glitter in it. So it's more like a matte finish with glitter in it. Um, sometimes can come off as a sheen just depending on how you use it. But again, a nice matte brown would have been nice. Next favorite is a gel nail polish. I will insert a picture of me wearing this polish. I apologize, my nails are disgusting right now. I know I need to do them. I've been lazy, but this is from Sally Hansen Gel Polish in the color Perplexed. It is a gorgeous shade, and I love the Sally Hansen gel polishes because they last at least up to two weeks with no chipping. They have a beautiful formula, and I got this at Walmart cheaper than I would at Walgreens. I want to say it was under $10, $9 and something cents. So that was a great deal for this polish. Next favorite is this NYX Gel Eyeliner in Dark Brown. When I went to Ulta to pick up a new eyebrow powder to fill in my brows, I was looking at the palmings and nothing really matched me. Everything was a bit off. So I went over to the NYX aisle to pick up a gel liner and this one is perfect. I'm wearing it today on my brows mixed in with some of the powder, but it matches me nicely. It's easy to blend out. It stays all day and it was cheaper than the palmades or the whatever they're called um, from Anastasia, but this is just the gel liner from NYX. I want to say $8. So much cheaper. The Anastasia ones have to be over $20. Another one from NYX is this finishing spray in Dewy. I use this every day. It helps my makeup last longer. It also makes your makeup look better. I don't know what it does, but it just takes away. If you put too much powder on and you just want to 
you can't really take off the powder but you're happy with your makeup and you spray this it sets your makeup and it gives it a nice glow to it and this is great too even if you're not wearing makeup just to freshen up your face and spritz it on and for the price point it is great you have 60 ml bottle here and I want to say it was um, about 12 or 13 dollars and I was looking when I was at Ulta in the little aisle right as you check out as they have like these sample things and the Urban Decay setting spray was more than this and half the size and that was the smaller bottle. I haven't used that one so I can't compare them but this one does great for me and for the price point it is beautiful. My last favorite is kind of an odd favorite. I broke my sunglasses that I had had for two years. They were like five dollar sunglasses that I got at Forever 21 and I was going out that day so I needed to pick some up that day and I wasn't going to the mall. So we went to Walmart and these look almost identical to the ones that I had gotten at Forever 21. Um, there were more though. They were $15 which is kind of a bummer but I like them better because of what you look through. It's almost like an HD or polarized look and I like glasses that have the straight top more of a square for my face and for 15 bucks these are great. So if you need new sunglasses check out the Walmart ones plus they have a few um, actually they have a lot of like bright different colored ones if you're going to the beach or weekend getaway and you want some fun sunglasses. So that was it for my monthly favorites. I didn't have too many for you this month. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know what you think down below in the description box and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.